I wanted to be a fashion photographer. I wanted to work with all these beautiful women. Everybody in town wanted to be a fashion photographer, fashion and celebrities. When I started meeting these models, I realized I didn't want to meet these models. How did you start working as a food photographer? Because I remember that the beginning was not really food <laughs> as your professional photography. When I first started shooting on my own, I was shooting models and girls, and that was just the fun thing to do. I'd walk up to strain, hey, I want to photograph you. Come, I was a student. I had no problem approaching people and with some idea and some person, you'd be perfect for this thing. And food was something that was always fascinating to me for some reason. How do I make things look better? And, and also, how am I going to create a career in Los Angeles uh, being a fashion or a, a celebrity photographer? There may be 50,000 photographers in this city and 45,000 are shooting celebrities or models. So I always felt I could be more competitive as a food photographer because there'd be less food photographers in town and there was something about it that I really enjoyed that was that was different than just the chit chat or getting to know somebody and, and trying to make them look good. I wanted to do something that was unique. Speaking for artists who are just beginning, could you please specify what is more important to focus for them on making their art uh, or to focus on a business part so they were able to continue doing I, art? I think there are two separate ways you can go. If you want to be an artist, you create. If you want to run, if you want to be a business person, in an artistic career, after you enjoy being an artist and you want to make it a business, then you have to study the business of your art. Because anybody can go take pictures of trees or flowers and say, okay, I'm an artist, but you're not going to make a living at that. If you want to make a living at being an artist, you have to understand the business and the clients and how to get clients and how to keep business going. What? came first in your life, business management education or making an art in photography? The answer is I started studying how to be a photographer before I studied the business of photography. I began taking pictures for fun and then I went to school to learn how to be better at it and be a professional and then worked for many, many, many photographers as an assistant and have two degrees in photography before I opened my own business. So first came the creative part, then came the business part. And so I run my studio like a business, not like an artist. When you are making your photographs for your clients, uh, first of all, do you still believe that you are doing art or you are only a businessman at that time? I don't consider myself an artist when I'm making photographs for a client. I'm fulfilling their need of what they need for their business. Uh, a lot of times after I'm done with their project of doing what they need to fill their needs, I may take that product the next day and play with it myself to create art. But what I do 
I don't consider it, I don't have the freedom to do whatever I want. I have to do something that makes their product sell. Later on, I'll do something for me so that I enjoy the creative process of that. At the same time, I, I've seen the proofs of that you are always trying to find something, you know, some meaning, some story in your products. How would you explain that? The way I work is that I will photograph their products in something that works for me. And what I mean by works is it looks artistically correct. It has a balance. It has a flow to it. I'm not just putting things out to shoot it so that they're happy. I have to make it, I have to be comfortable with what I'm shooting of theirs to make it work for whatever they're doing. For, exa for example, I may shoot a bunch of product in a bowl and I'll light it and shoot it so that they're happy with it. Then I may move the light around to make it more interesting for me and give them an option. Here's something more dramatic. It's still your product, but there, I will do something that satisfies them and I'll do something that satisfies me. I still don't consider it art, but I'm, I'm playing with the light so it has more drama to the picture. Uh, I don't know if the client wants drama. I don't know if they want shadows. For me, that makes it more creative and dramatic, but that may not work for them. So uh, I really think a lot of times a client trusts me to create something for them. Tell more about what you mean when you make your photographs more dramatic. What is it? Well, I think, oh, hi. Hi, but I can't play now. Sorry. Uh, I think by meaning more dramatic is the light has more light and shadow. A lot of times when I'll... Okay, go ahead. Go on the couch. Go on. Let me start again. And what is your favorite style to make things more dramatic? How would you explain it? Um, like if I'm shooting agriculture and I light, you can see each one in all its shape and inside the, you know, between them and you can see all the details. That would be lighting it for my client. But for me, I may move the light to the back and just have a highlight behind it and not show, you'll be more dramatic and dark in the center. So you can see the shape, but it makes it more uh, kind of like a fantasy that, oh, I know that's good because it looks like it's lit and it, it, it has a more dramatic feeling to it. That's what I mean by more drama. It's more shadows, more texture. It's not showing the whole thing and here it is. It's more like you have to use your imagination to see what it's going to be. When you are building your composition in front of the camera, do you actually talk to someone in your head, maybe to your client, like imagine what is going on in your mind? When I'm photographing products or a bunch of products, I'm always talking to myself. I'm always looking at what I've done. How can I make it better? What is more interesting? Should I put this here or put three of them here? I'm always talking to myself with the basics, the basic understanding of design that's in my head. I, it wasn't taught to me. It's just what looks best. And I may shoot it and look at it and adjust and look at it and adjust and look at it. If I'm doing portraits, I'm constantly walking in a circle around my client. I'm just going to move. I'm going to keep moving lights. I'm going to keep moving things until I like what I have. And I'll explain to them before we begin that, okay, just sit there, look forward. I'm going to be playing. I'm going to play with the lights, get them all set, make sure the background light is doing what I want and the key light is doing what I want. And then once I'm happy, then we'll start shooting. So yes, I'm trying just tweaking little things that really just don't seem very obvious to satisfy me to create what I want to create. What is uh, more important for you when you work? To tell some story with um, your objects, which people may understand, you know, with their mind and recognize some patterns and some examples, or to influence uh, their emotions, 
so they related themselves to the food you promote? Well, first I'm trying to satisfy my client. If I see them using my image, that means I'm a success because they like it. Uh, I'm trying to, I don't, I'm really trying to bring out emotion, the emotion of hunger or the emotion of that looks like something I want to eat, which is, which is difficult. I mean, there are many times I'll see an ad for a food company and the food just doesn't look appealing. It's, my job is to make something that's unappealing appealing. There was a time when I was shooting close-ups of produce and in my head, it was how does this smell when I look at it? So I'm, I have a theme. Okay, I'm doing a close-up. How does it smell before it goes in my mouth? How, how can I make this look that it's, like it smells good? I'm trying to make it as appealing as I can. Uh, when people are going to look at my portfolio, I tell them, look at my portfolio before you eat lunch because then you're going to be hungry and lunch is going to be better for you. What do you enjoy more, creating an art or watching uh, an art somewhere in a museum or at other studios? I, I enjoy looking at finished art because I have appreciation for the artist and the talent they have. Creating is, is my job. It's my occupational hazard of shooting something. I don't really have pleasure from that. But seeing finished art that somebody else has done, going to a museum, going to a gallery, I, I enjoy that more because I have appreciation for that artist. Does it give something to develop your own art? I may, especially when I was younger, I would steal ideas. I would look at things and try to, how can I use that to help me? But now I'm... People say that they look at my art and they can see my style. So I don't really take as much from other people as I used to. I may be inspired to do something, but I am who I am and I like the things the way I do. So that's my style. I can't, I don't really want to change that, but I will look for ideas or, or I may see something go, I can do something like that in a different way. To create your own art from your idea or to create to an order. I get more satisfaction now of getting a job than doing a job. So getting another job, a new client, is more fun to me than shooting a job. I've been shooting jobs for 35 years, but getting a new client is a new voice. It's a new person I have to satisfy. It's a new challenge. That to me is more exciting. What is better, uh, studio work or field work? Studio work, I have more control. I have more control of the lighting, and the sun, the clouds, the rain. Uh, it's always changing. Here I can control the light, how things look, the backgrounds. I, I control everything. I am the producer, director, writer, and photographer. I create every part of what I'm doing in the studio. Museum or basketball court? Museum because of the appreciation I have for art and I'm in a basketball court almost every day now I'm getting tired of that. Editing or taking photos? Taking them to me is more fun. Editing is something it's done. I know I have to make it better. It's challenging but creating is, is better for me. New York or Los Angeles? I grew up in New York and I have no interest going back there. I'm very comfortable here in Los Angeles. Thank you. What would you prefer, inspired work at your studio or a pleasure of traveling? I, I think if I create something that inspires me, it's more of my legacy. Traveling, I like traveling and going new places and eating new foods, but I, I like both. If I had to pick one, it would be to create something that, that lasts the, the test of time. And the last one, uh, choose a making of a visual art using food or tasting food in a good restaurant. I'm 
definitely going to a good restaurant. I'm a foodie and uh, I don't eat to live, I live to eat. <laughs>